hi guys welcome to another video and in this video i'm going to show you how to make the onboard led on this raspberry pi kublink using a micro python code so let's get started so in order to connect the raspberry pi pico to your pc hold the boot cell button on the raspberry pi pico and then connect it using the usb cable to the pc you will see that the raspberry pi pico mounts to the pc as a master rate device so now the next step is to download MicroPython firmware from the MicroPython website. So let's go ahead and make a Google search for MicroPython. And you can see that there is this website micropython.org and let me go ahead and click that. Here you can see that there are different versions of the firmware listed here. But I'm going to go ahead and download the latest version as .uf2 file. So the next step to do is open up the RPIP2 and then copy the firmware that you have just downloaded to this RPIP2. Now you will see that the RPIP2 reboots into the MicroPython firmware. So let's open up Tony, the MicroPython IDE from which we can program our Raspberry Pi Pico using MicroPython. So you can see that my Tony IDE shows my MicroPython version to be 1.18 and it also shows the Raspberry Pi Pico board that I have mounted onto my PC. So now it's time to start programming our Raspberry Pi Pico. And for that purpose, I'm going to be using the sample code given in the official Raspberry Pi Pico website. So let's begin the programming by importing the pin and timer class from machine module. Then let's create the variable LED and assign the pin object using its constructor which takes in two arguments. One is the pin number to which the onboard LED is connected and other argument tells this pin to be an output pin. Then let me create the timer object and assign it to the variable timer. So we are going to create a function called blink. Um, you can see that the def is the keyword used to uh, define a function and this function is going to take in timer object as its argument. Next we are going to use the toggle method to toggle the LED on or off each time the blink function gets called. So let's initialize our timer object using init method and it is going to take arguments like frequency which is going to be 2.5 and mode is equal to timer.periodic which means that this timer is going to run for more than a single time and our callback method or function is the blink function. Next we will save this code to our Raspberry Pi Pico and we are going to save this as blink.poi. The last part of this video is to run the code we just wrote now and you can see that the onboard LED on this Raspberry Pi Pico blinks as per the code we wrote just now. So thank you guys for watching this video until next time. Take care.